translate your own writing. Uh, have you experienced spiritual doubt hesitation? Sort of, maybe, kind of-ish? The only thing that comes to mind is that sort of transition period when what I was doing in the church just didn't feel right anymore. It wasn't, mm, I suppose it would be kind of spiritual hesitation where you got to the point where you're like, well, oh, gosh, if I do this, I'm a bad person type of thing. It's like, I was expecting to feel guilt because of kind of what you're taught. Are you on the Titanic here? There we go. You know, the guilt trip that Christianity tries to drill into you that this is the only way and, you know, this will fit everybody whether you're 90 or 5 or male or female or whatever the hell you are. And that was kind of the like, when I started in the, you know, paganism is like you're doing something bad, kind of like stealing cookies or, you know, hiding chocolates when you're not supposed to have them. That type of thing. So it was that sort of... I would say more hesitation than doubt because I'm like, it, it just... And this was a long time coming, too, where it wasn't like, you know, this just sucks. It's, it was it was a bad week. I mean, this was like years in the making where it was that sort of, like, hesitation. It's like, well, if I leave this particular world what's next, even though it was a fairly smooth transition in from one thing to the other, because it was something I've been aware of, and, you know, the more I learned, the more it fits. So, basically, that sort of hesitation of going, in some ways, from one extreme to another, if that makes sense, where you still feel like, oh, I'm, I'm you know, bad, bad, <laughs> you know, bad pagan. But I've in learning and then seeing the different people here on YouTube and in our little nook of the woods here, you know, feel like, well, if I'm going to hell, I'm not going to be alone and I'll be with a lot better people. <laughs> you know, it's like, <laughs> there's no, there's no doubt or hesitation in where I am now. Just that end of things. That's pretty much all I can really say. There was never really an any existential crisis per se. I mean, I've always been aware of deity, even if it didn't have a name. It was always something that, like, well, nobody else will listen. You seem to, like, want to hang out. So, that's my thing. Uh, I wonder if I could do these questions in, like, 30 seconds. Have you experienced spiritual doubt or hesitation? Maybe. <laughs> in a video. No. <laughs> hmm. Don't get any ideas. Alright, thank you for watching, and blessed be.